In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a unique route combination that's going to help you beat man, it's going to help you beat zone in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, this is basically what we do. We do tips and tricks and strategies every single day that are designed to help people get better at Madden NFL 21. And in today's video, what we're talking about is we are talking specifically about how do you beat man, but also how do you kind of beat a little bit of everything. And this comes to us from the gun double week and the formation is or the the play is shake hb corner this can be found in the green bay packers playbook now what i would recommend is having your best route running receiver on the far left but we're going to jump right into this now i'm going to back the ball up just to give us a little bit more space and as a general rule what i like to do is run this to the to the um, when i'm on the right hash i like to run this play now the first thing you need to know is this little route to Shepard is very very good against man to man. He's going to do this little shake and then he's going to get inside position and you're going to be able to beat man to man that way. Most of the time, most of the time, your opponent is going to use her and he's going to try to take that route away. But this route to Devonte Adams, as you can see, is going to come in behind it. You basically have three different post routes on one play. You have that one. You have Devontae Adams, and then you have Valdez Scantling. Now, Valdez Scantling, as you can see, he's only going to beat certain. Um, he's only going to beat certain coverages. He's not going to beat every coverage. But what I love about this route is you can actually smart route Devontae Adams and get him to go just a little bit shallower, and he's going to get even more open against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, I wouldn't recommend smart routing him. I would actually recommend just leaving him as he is. Now, the running back route. On this little corner route, he will get open as long as you throw it at the right point, okay? As long as you throw it at the right point, he's going to get open. So what I mean by that is right when he cuts to the left, right there, that's when you want to throw the ball. You want to throw it down and away, and you're going to be able to beat man. So now you basically have um, three key routes that are going to beat man to man. Okay? They may not look open, but they're kind of open. Now... This route to about a scantling. You can actually motion this to the left side. And what you'll see is. It will kind of cause a man switch. And he will get open as well. As long as they take their safeties away. So, you know, I see this all the time. Where they take their safeties away. So something like this, if you have a route technician or a good route running receiver going up against a bad corner, that route actually will beat man-to-man -man as long as they take the safeties away. As you can see right there, Devontae Adams is going to get inside leverage. Okay? Well, this is only if they shade coverage over top. So he's going to get that inside position on the shade, pass lead down, and you can click on the receiver. And most of the time you can actually make a play, especially if they have 90 plus deep route running. Now where this play really shines though, is it shines against zone coverage. So let's say they run, let's say they run like cover three. Notice this route to Devonte Adams. What you're going to see is this route is going to really wrap around the zone. As you can see right there, it's going to kind of wrap around a lot of zone defenses that you're going to face. And the user oftentimes, like I said, is going to go to Shepard. Now, if he goes over top to Devontae Adams, then you would just hit Shepard. One other thing I did want you to see is you actually have two quick reads. The first read is to your tight end. You see here, if they're not protecting the flats, I can easily throw that route. And if he breaks a tackle, that's going to be very, very effective against zone. On the left side, the running back route, when he shoots out to the backfield, when he shoots out on his little corner route, oftentimes he's going to get fairly decent cover, um, fairly decent openings at two different points. Right there that he's not open late on this specific play, but he's open early. As you see here, I can hit that quick read, pop it in that little pocket for about 5-10 yards. Then what's going to happen is they're going to kind of hard flat, play underneath, kind of come on and down. And if they're not careful, they're going to leave themselves wide open to this, this running back route as it cuts um, on the outside cut uh, against maybe like a cover three hard flat or Tampa two hard flat. Um, you know, if they take those take those underneath or um, those cloud flats away, you're going to be able to hit it, um, hit it pretty well. The next defense I want to show you is cover four. And cover four, you're going to see here these little crossing post routes 
are going to do wonders against the cover four. Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to be a one play touchdown against cover four, as you can see right there. So basically what's going to happen is if you see cover four, most of the time they're going to go to Devonte Adams. You see cover four, all you got to do is step up in the pocket. If we have a little bit more time, we're going to be able to deliver that ball to v MVS. Most of the time you will have the time if you're not playing practice mode. For whatever reason, practice mode sheds are a little bit more ridiculous. But most of the time, if you are facing some type of cover four, this little spaceship um, post pattern concept just torches, 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 torches cover four at the top. So you can hit that route. You're also going to have everything else is the same. Like if they're, um, you know, if they're, that's what I love about um, Mercedes Lewis route. Basically, it's two windows, right? You can hit it early or you can hit it late. So if they're in cloud flats or curl flats, anything above five yards, you can hit this early and you can get up field for a quick four, quick five, quick six. Okay. Now let's say they hard flat. Let's say they try to play a little chess on you. Well, you're not going to be able to hit it early, but what you're going to be able to do is let him cut up field and post and throw it right in behind that zone. The zone won't react. So what that means is they have to mabel both sides of their defense. That's what makes this play so good. And in fact, sometimes I'll just wheel out the running back. Um, and I'm telling you, I can't tell you how many times I've thrown that little quick two, quick three, quick four. But what's going to end up happening is a key down. They may take it. They play underneath coverage. And now what you'll see is this little this little quick three, quick four has now turned into a quick 15, a quick 20, just based on the flat zones alone. You just really stretch the defense. There's not a lot that they can do um, that's really, really going to help them, in my opinion. Uh, these post routes are going to work really well off of one another. Now, if you're facing Tampa 2, I do want same kind of thing. Valdez Scantling's route is going to get up and over. You see how that see how that middle linebacker is going to come down. Oftentimes, unless they put him in a deep third, um, a, a deep middle third, Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to be wide open on this play here. He's going to get that inside release, come up field. And like I said, practice mode, for whatever reason, has the craziest block sheds I've ever seen in Madden history this year. But literally, all you're going to do this is Tampa 2. He's going to come. He's going to cut inside right there. And you see how that little middle linebacker is going to go down to the post route. That's that's the power of this play. Uh, cover 3. Let me show you cover 3 real quick on the post routes. Um, with the post routes, I think pretty much the deep third is going to go with the deeper post route. So that underneath one, you're going to be able to hit that um, kind of late across the formation. And what I like about that, that post route on the left is that post route really does a good job of wrapping around. So you can low pass lead down and inside. And this is a very, very good route combination. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. Also, guys, if you want to sign up for our text membership, all you got to do is text me. Again, my number is 812 216 Three six four four. It's also in the description of every video I do. It's a great way to get exclusive tips. We're going to be talking about one of the best run defenses in the in the game uh, in this coming week. But most of these videos that I'm sending out in the text memberships are kind of like mini guides. They're not. They're just like exclusive. They're high level, kind of to introduce you guys to a little bit about what we do uh, in our ebook. So if you do want to pick up my ebook, uh, I do have a full four six in Arizona Cardinals uh, guide. It's a bundle guide, so they're together. You get both of them for the price of one of them, and that is in the description as well. If you haven't picked that up, go ahead and do that. That has over 100 pages of setups, very, very good and very, very in-depth material. But anyways, guys, we're going to jump off here. We'll see you on stream tonight at 11, and we got some more videos coming today on our YouTube channel, so be sure to stay tuned to that.